So we are in uh, beautiful San Francisco on a sunny day, uh, right downtown in the workshop cafe. Uh, so if there's a bit of background noise, that would be why. What we're gonna show you is a bit of a longer uh, demo into um, uh, what we're showing at Google Next, which is how to leverage uh, Anthos config management to really make that hybrid cloud um, a reality and a benefit to developers. The goal here is to reduce the requirement of uh, Kubernetes experience on the developer uh, via automation, but to leverage the scale of public cloud to reduce our build times as well, uh, and to give back that Kubernetes configuration control to our ops and security team so developers don't have to be involved in that process. Uh, all we really care about as a developer is the commit. So what we're going to do here is just make an initial commit to uh, a simple app that we have. And I'm just going to go ahead and change the background. Very simple. And that's going to spawn uh, a series of tasks that's going to help us go through um, our test and then eventual production uh, deployment. So that's our CI and CD process. I'm gonna take a quick look at our application here. Let's hit it again. We're gonna see what the temperature is in Toronto. It's a very simple app, it's nice and cold, right? Five degrees, thus the background. Um, and that's it, that's all that we have to do in the app. But once we hit our commit, really what we wanted to do is spin off a brand new uh, job. And so this is Jenkins for those who aren't familiar. Jenkins is, CI, is a CI tool uh, and it can do deployment as well. Um, we primarily use it on the CI side for most things. Now you can see that that change did spawn up a new, um, a new pipeline. And so that's gonna wait for our new ex um, executor to kind of spin up. Uh, luckily, because this takes a bit of time, we did spin one up already. And uh, we've got one here that we're gonna review and talk about what happened. Uh, so upon our change, we uh, built a new app image. And with that app image, we also built a brand new set of infrastructure, so a full GKE cluster. And then we registered that cluster with Anthos Config Management. Uh, the goal here to be that once it's registered, it pulls down um, or assumes a set of configurations that are controlled by our ops and security team. These are consistent across any environment. So now any ephemeral cluster that I build automatically adheres to the rules. So I don't have to do anything uh, regarding Kubernetes, which means if I want to build something in the cloud, I don't have to know about it. And this is really great. I deploy my application into my test cluster. And then I go through a series of tests. Now, um, this is where we do end-to-end, -end load tests, security testing. This is where the power of cloud comes in because we have um, ultimately massive scale if we need to reduce our build time. So we could build much larger clusters to suit our needs based off the types of tests that we need to do. Uh, and once we're done, we can go ahead and clean up our environment, but we can also deploy to production as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, essentially, we're going to deploy into our production environment, which is in our on-prem cluster. We're going to notify a bunch of systems that that, production, that, that rollout is happening. Uh, and then once we're done with that rollout, we're going to go ahead and clean up our environment. So we're actually going to remove that Kubernetes cluster that we built. So let's jump into the dashboard a little bit and take a, take a deeper look. What we can see here is the current clusters that I have built out. I've got um, different clusters based, named off of different feature branches, uh, and those will all ultimately go away. You can even see this one starting to get clean up now. Um, our core is where we're going to deploy our production application. So our ops and security team has full access to this, and yet us as a developer, we don't. Uh, so it's really important to have those separation of duties. If we go a little bit deeper, you can go ahead and jump over to the actual workload space. And really what Anthos Config Management has done for us has actually given us this lovely separation because we've configured this from our, from our operation side. My core cluster has a production namespace which always gets a copy of this application. However, I only have test namespaces in any other ephemeral cluster that is receiving this application. Uh, so here, um, we didn't have to do any of this configuration. Us as a developer, we're not configuring namespaces, and not configuring deployment configs, not configuring anything like that. Um, and really, what that means is let's take a look at the config management repo. 
is that all of this right here, namespace, network policy, um, the deployment config, or the service definition, we didn't have to know any of that. That was just given to us. All we had to do was push commit and build our Docker image. Now, um, this is an example of a very simple application, but as this gets more complex with config maps and things like that, this is really where the power of Anthos config management is going to come in. Or as we deploy across multiple clusters, um, you know, that might make our app hi more highly available. This sort of yucky YAML um, set of code isn't anything that we need to know, um, including anything like role bindings or permissions or any other security configurations that our team might enforce upon us. It's just not in our hands. It doesn't matter to us. Really, the one command in our pipeline that actually matters to us is this right here. We're just running a very simple patch command, and that patch command is actually going to update the application for us. That's it. There's no other real YAML that us as a developer needed to understand. So we're going to jump over to that application again. All right, it's a little bit better. We're going to take a look at San Francisco. And so we've got our changes, and there is really nothing else to be done from our perspective. And so, as we've demonstrated, um, a single commit uh, can get through to production with very little Kubernetes knowledge, but the ease and the security and control of Anthos config management. Thank you so much for listening.